How's it looking up there, Matt? You're looking great. Just try not to swing too much. You got one rock to the left. Joe, rock! Watch out! Allegheny Mountains of north central Pennsylvania is of rugged forest, steep ridge lines, and deep valleys. But there is a threat in these mountains that can be every bit as deadly as the weather and terrain. Ursus Americanus, the black bear. Protein. Right now, black bear are out foraging for food, preparing for hibernation 20 out of 24 hours a day. That raises your odds of bumping into one of these things dramatically. Right now, we are in textbook conditions for hypothermia. If you had a box of matches and five gallons of gasoline, you're not getting a fire right now. It's like something down there. Yeah, backpack, dude. 자, 지금부터 확인 들어가겠습니다. Looks like two maps, which yeah. we can't read right yeah. now. What is this? It looks like surveyor string. Any kind of cordage in a survival situation is great. Snares, tying down shelters. We've got climbing rope. I'd say if we had more time, we could weave a blanket out of this, but that's not happening right now. Why don't we head down here a little ways, maybe? Yeah. Look for places to shelter? What Shelter's do you think? Shelter's top on yeah, my mind absolutely. right now. Joe, check this out. I am stoked, because that's a bomber shelter. That's a place we can get in there, and even without a fire, at least we're going to be dry. Oh, dude, hell no. That is a textbook bear den. Are you sure? Because I'd be really dry in there. Bro, that is a five-star hotel for a bear. I do understand that this is where Joe grew up, but it's a dry space. I would go in there personally and risk the chance of dealing with a bear. Let's just keep going down this way, dude. We'll find something. Boom. Oh, hell no, dude. Do you know what that is? You know that old saying, there's a bear in the woods? It's all over my boots right now. You smell that? Oh, yeah. Does that smell like roses to you? <laughs> Let's get about 100 yards away from this thing. All right, well, let's find some cover quick. Hey, Joe, I'm not seeing any overhead cover. We might just have to grab a bunch of leaves and bury ourselves in right now. Down and dirty, side by side, leaves on top of us. Will That's you, what you're thinking? We'll use our body warmth against each other and, and insulate all around. Man, man. Might be time to bury Jesus, into these things. Jesus, you ain't kidding, man. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time in the Allegheny Mountains growing up, and I do know one thing. This is where people are going to be. We find water, maybe we'll bump into fishermen, maybe we'll bump into somebody hunting. This is the train that Joe grew up in. So I get a chance to sort of walk through his footsteps, see how he looks at his wilderness, and hopefully learn a few things. So you've got this huge river. What I think we should do is try to locate this thing. That's our goal. Matt, look at this. This is a drainage ditch. I can almost guarantee you this is going to lead down to some kind of water. Joe and I have been in the trees all day long, and this is the first clue that we're getting towards that river. Look, let's just head right straight down alongside of it. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, that's a bummer, because this stream is not going to lead us out of here. It's just a stream. It could be any stream. If it was the river, different story. It's not. We've covered quite a distance. The sun's definitely going down. Why don't we shelter for the night and then follow this thing out in the morning, see where it goes. Yeah, sounds good. When we're coming down, it looked like there's a good shelter spot kind of right over that hill, right there, out of the valley. It seemed like it flattened up a little bit. OK. When I was a kid playing around in these mountains, man, I used to find a lot of quartz. And um, quartz and carbon steel right. makes a spark. I'm just going to search around this stream bed right here, look for a piece of quartz, and then yeah. I'll link up with you. About 150 yards that way. Yeah, sounds good. I'll be right up there. Right, good luck. Dude, you can throw up a shoulder quick. I'm loving that. How'd the search go? Good. I found a small piece of quartz. Nice. And I found this as well. This is birch bark fungus. Yeah. And it burns like crazy, man. I'll start processing this stuff. If you can make a real down and dirty tinder bundle, yeah. I'll give it a roll. Yeah, I'll get some wood, too. Awesome, man. This fungus has been in the rain. I don't know if it's dry enough, so there's no guarantees in this. I'm hoping it's going to work. Ah, nice, dude. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, that looks cool. I wish I had a bigger piece of quartz. I'm watching this process as he's knocking off pretty big chunks of this quartz. If it breaks apart, we're out of luck here. 
I finally get one more spark to hit the corner of this fungus. And if this doesn't work, we're not going to have a fire. Nice job. That was awesome. Now we have fire, and we're going to be warm tonight. While we got this going, why don't we start throwing some of these chestnuts on here? I won't argue thinking? with that. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Matt and I have burned thousands of calories to get to the point where we are. You could sit here all day and eat all the chestnuts in the world. And yes, they're a good energy source, but you need more. On the way up here, I saw a lot of game trails. I don't know mm -hmm. what it was, rabbit, squirrel, fox, whatever the case may be. And I'm thinking, while I still have some daylight, maybe throwing up a few real quick snares. Let me go do that real quick, man. I'll be right back. What I'm going to do is set up a very basic snare trap. I made him as a kid, and I'm going to do it now. It's quick and down and dirty. So what you want to do is get this thing to the point where you know you've got enough kinetic energy to launch this animal, right? So right about there. The only thing you need to make this trap is some string and a knife. OK. It bumps this thing. It's going to go for a trip in outer space. I still have some daylight. I'm going to go set some more of these things, at least three or four more. As I'm approaching my first trap, I can see that it's not sprung. Well. That's one out of six of my traps that have not worked. Uh, this was the one that I had the most hopes for. We know the animals are here. I mean, the trails are here, my trap is sprung, the food is gone. We were that close to getting food. Oh, wait a minute. Bingo. Home run derby, I got a possum. Now we can eat. For Matt and I, right now, having some meat is huge. Those chestnuts were good, but yeah, this is where it's at. Yeah, yeah. Nuts and meat, it's awesome. Possum. Awesome, possum. I like that, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, my god. Dang, Matt, look at this. Yep. This is not what I was hoping for. Really slippery. Well, probably going to have to go up. Matt and I would love to follow this stream out, but unfortunately, the terrain is getting steeper and more narrow. So common sense is going to prevail. We've got to go on the high ground to get out of here. OK, Matt, let me check something out real quick. As Matt and I are walking, we spotted log laying on the ground. It looked like it had just fallen over. Ah, oh, what do we got here? Matt and I have found another sign of active bears in this area. Claw marks right here. Yeah. Claw marks right there. What happened is this bear pushed this tree over. He was digging in this thing for grub worms. Protein. All right, man, let's keep going. Lost in the wilds of Pennsylvania's Allegheny Mountains, Joe and Matt have finally found the river, which may lead them out. But first, they must make a 100-foot descent in an improvised harness down a crumbling wall of shale. How's it looking up there, Matt? You're looking great. Just try not to swing too much. You got one rock to the left. Joe, rock! Watch out! You all right, Joe? That was close, Matt. I'm OK. All right, Matt, I'm as far as we can go, but it is really steep. OK. Now that Joe's on the ground, I'm pulling the rope back up, and it's my turn. All right, Joe, watch yourself. I'm coming down. Uh, it's pretty crumbly, huh? Be careful on that one right there. Yep. Now that we're both down on the ground safe, our plan is to keep going down until we get to the river and then follow it out of here. You hear that? We're really close. Yeah, man. This is it. This is what we're looking for. Yeah, man. Yeah. Who knows how far Matt and I are going to have to travel down this river? Two, three, four, 20 miles. Yeah. You 
You gotta be kidding me. What the hell is this guy doing out here? Hello? Sir? Howdy. If you're heading out into the wilderness, do your homework. I grew up in this environment, and that was a huge asset for Matt and I. But that's not always going to be the case. Have a nice hike? Yeah, it's been you a, say so. a little bit of an adventure. <laughs> <laughs>